Put up my SNV as this satellite media. Mr. Fira do my care. Help us understand what is happening in Nigerian political landscape. Because this globalization of uh, Nigeria has been alleged against Rubu is perhaps even threatening his chances of getting a second ticket. Because he's not already rattled. Look at the CGN that just uh, quit office by way of uh, retiring. The current CGN is now Kekele Eku, who is from the same southwestern part of the country. We understand that actually it is by way of seniority in that um, in that sector that determine who becomes the CGN. But other areas of human endeavor or other government appointment, people are talking, just people talking about that this is what is pushing the outsiders to say we cannot continue with this uh, globalization. <laughs> yes, that reminds me of uh, 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 Onohem, during the time of Onohem. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't tell us, you know, all the stories when Onehem was there, you know, that they, they followed due process in uh, 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 appointing CGN. But unfortunately, uh, or, or fortunately, or unfortunately, because uh, it's going to be an unfortunate scenario at the end of the day that this Kujirat uh, Kekere Edu is going to fail and fail woefully. Go and mark my word. Uh, because um, we have seen the, how Tinubu uh, has been able to place his men uh, from uh, uh, IG, a Yoruba man, uh, custom, a Yoruba man, um, the security, uh, 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 chief of staff, whatever. All of them, all the top, top uh, 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 positions People in this country. About CBM, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, CPM finance. governor, finance, minister of finance, everywhere in Yoruba, Yoruba, everywhere. Like, you understand? They, they not, you know why? The North should not complain. They should not complain. You understand? Because it, it, it has become a norm in Nigeria. It is only PDP government that will see a total federal character, you know, in 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 in, in, uh, uh, in the appointment of positions, you know, uh, to uh, manage this country. But right from the era of Buhari till where we are now, uh, this one has become very significant. Even Buhari himself was trying to uh, hide it, but this one. Everywhere is clear. The next person to go now is the INEC chairman, Yakubu Mahmoud, and he's going to appoint a Yoruba man at the end of the day. You know, there's no two ways about it. So everybody should sit up, touch your bed. The North should also sit up, like the, the, the Easterners now, touch your bed and be ready for the consequences that they have already thrown us to. And the consequences are going to come in diverse ways because um, the man has started positioning people ahead of uh, 2027 no matter how you're going to look at it he has already made it very clearly that you know if you come now i am in charge of the, the resources is the particular minister of course his man is the cpn governor minister of finance so he has the required uh, uh, funding you know to buy anything viable to make sure that he, 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 he come back uh, to uh, uh, asurok uh, come 2027. So it's ready, you know. But the fact remains is that is are Nigerians going to continue in this uncertainty come 2027? Will Nigeria survive with this kind of present economic hardship before 2027? Is there any arrangement to the first person that should target there is the Senate President Ababio? What I, I want to see that Ababio impeached completely. Remove him. No, it, it's very clear. Since I was born, the guy is lousy with statement. The guy he has no comportment. In fact, he, do, uh, he has no character. He behaves like a child. They, they, forgetting that senior, senior presidency is an institution, a, a representative of democracy. Okay, let's look at let look at what he said uh, before that protest. That people can be protesting, they say we'll be eating. He could drink that beer and be like, go swell up. I don't, you understand? That enjoyment when in the chapel with the protest, they, they enjoy. But that tells you the mockery. He's making mockery of the presidency under Tinubu. Okay, now let us look at the travel of uh, Joe Ajero. I'm talking about the NSC prison, who recently was invited by the police. We understand that his lawyer, Falana, wrote to the police and said, Give us time, we are going to appear. And Falana and um, the police that they should make specific. Um, his uh, crime or other allegations. Some people are speculating that all these are 
attempt by the Tinubu administration to whip people into land ahead of 2027. Oh, oh, okay, that, that's the fact. Uh, but uh, let me tell you, Ajero for me is a disappointment. I, I, I can never agree with him. If they want to jail him, let them then jail him. It's not my business, you know. It's a, it's a disgrace to Nigerian Labour Congress, you know, because he has not been able to muster that strength to defend, you know, uh, Nigeria uh, workers to an extent that people will begin to admire him as somebody who has the 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 the, the, the heart, you know, to uh, uh, defend ordinary Nigerians on the streets. So, uh, but no matter how you look at it, you know, you understand. Um, uh, uh, Ajero uh, has been uh, somehow um, acting like a politician recently. So, uh, and since he's started acting for a politician, he should also face the consequences of acting like a politician. And that is what is coming to him. So nobody should pity Ajero for anything, you know, because for me, he has not been able to uh, defend, you know, uh, uh, the, the principles, you know, uh, that govern, that, see, you know what is called labor? Labor. You don't, you don't not joke in, with labor, you know? They are, they, they are, they, they are the productive sector of every country. You know, they, 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 they make sure that a, a, a nation functions. It's labor. If there's anything that has to do with, you know, economy, it's labor. And uh, and when labor takes a particular stand, I think the government should be able to go to their knees and beg. So are you are you satisfied? Um with the level no, of he, he, bro, the let the harassment continue because he deserves it. I mean, you see, I always say this, that's my opinion. Let the harassment continue because he deserves it. What are we benefiting? After the whole thing, I'm, 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 is, is the harassment justified? Is that the government? See, let, let me tell you, let me tell you, eh, if he has done well, there shouldn't be harassment. What do you mean doing well? Are you a member of uh, any of the unions? Because I think I do not. He fought for the. the uh, 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 he fought for the members of the union. As at the last time, we understand that the salary had been restructured. How many? How many people are under uh, the pay and rule of uh, Nigerian government? The the unemployed in Nigeria is much more bigger in numbers than the number of people he's protecting is uh, alleged to be protecting their interests. But doesn't that be going to protect the interest of his members? Oh, it, 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 the, the, the interest, interest of Nigerians, Nigerian Labour Congress, everybody, bro, everybody is Nigerian Labour Congress, so, irrespective of whether you are in the union or not, everybody is Nigerian Labour Congress. Are you not working? What are you doing here? Are you not laboring? It's part of it now. Everybody. Uh, you belong, belong to a union that is affiliated to NSC. Bro, everybody is affiliated because everybody pays tax. Are you paying your due? Yes, no. I am on daily basis. You know. No financial due. Every day I do that on no, daily I mean basis. Financial due. You have your record. You have your your. your oh God, I have it. And you understand? You can go to bank and find out themselves. You know how the the, the bank is taking my money on daily basis. You know and giving to. No, I mean pay your due to organized labor. Why? That's what I'm explaining to you now. Why not explain it to you? Okay, let me let me just tell you now. Eh? What does he take? This Niger, uh, uh, National Union of North Transport Workers, how do they survive? They survive by commuting, eh? by applying different nooks and crannies, taking money from commuters. Abi? Giving, to, oh, okay, let's tell you, giving a certain percentage of the same money that came from me, had and money, back to government. Is it not working? Which other way do you want? I want? Okay, let me ask you. What have I benefited from Nigeria for the past 100 years now? No, I'm not permitted to answer. Oh, okay, be beautiful, beautiful. But I'm telling you now that Nigeria as a nation, as a government, is benefiting from me more than I am benefiting from the government. Let me say very big thank you for coming. Thank you very much. We hope to have you next time. No problem. Thank you very much.